them. The pictures of the model are not all that good. If you, in the pictures where he focused on the model, the horizon is out of focus. Where he focused on the horizon, the model is out. Well, not all of them, Steve. I mean, some of these no. photographs come out uh, very, very good. We should put them in there for comparative testing under computer analysis. Uh, we've got to have that comparison. Frankly, this could be a scam. So when we look at models, there's a variety of things that are different than when we look at photographs of these objects. Load in some colors first. That object right there is solid. It's one solid color. There's very little contour in it compared to other objects that are in the photograph, like the trees and things that we have color mapped in the background to be high contrast colors. Mm -hmm. And I've blown them up so we can look at the edges as pixels. So we're going from the brown object to the horizon. It takes two pixels. I mean, you can count it with your finger. You don't even need a computer. Why is that important? What does it mean? There's no contour to the object. Mm -hmm. Remember when we looked at the other photographs uh, that were taken by Meyer, the width of the edges range from four to nine. Mm -hmm. Point of the story, this is a small model. It's easy to tell small models. Well, we tested that finder sequence and that came out pretty good. Um, we didn't find any strings in there. And when we got through blowing it up in the computer, we had the outline of the Mirage fighter, everything. The incident occurred at Schmabühl. Meyer claims the jet made 22 passes at the beam ship. Computer analysis using the information from a known object, the Mirage fighter, shows again that the beam ship is the size and distance Meyer claims. What did you find out from the base? You, you had some investigation well, we're, going on. They're pretty area. tight here on military security, but uh, they won't let us talk to the pilot. We did find somebody who claimed that he found a mechanic who worked in that squadron at that time, and there was an exercise going on, and an airplane did come back with the electrical system melted out, the fire control system. Had to change a lot of black boxes, get it operational again. What about Meyer? What are we going to do with him? I think we ought to put it to him, you know. Let's go for the man, find out uh, if he's telling the truth, and put the full court press on it. How do they contact you, Billy? How do you know to go out and meet him? Yeah, that's a simple way. If I hear the order in my head to go to a contact, then I leave the house or just the place where I stay at the moment. And then they will guide me to the place where they pick up me. Well, let me ask a question. Why you? You see, and I can work together with them because uh, I understand to close up my earth body vibrations. See, they, Billy's explained to me before that they perceive in earth humanity all the vibrations of lust, envy, greed, avarice, all of the things that make us dense, and it gives us a heavy vibration that they react to as a bad smell. In fact, he's even mentioned that it's, they call it the auric stench of Earth humanity. And it's discomforting to them. It gives them problems. It makes them sick yeah. to stay in their presence. When he long. closes up his vibrations, are we talking about an altered state of some sort like uh, alpha, beta, or theta? As far as the consciousness no, he, of meditation? In a way, in a way it's like meditation. He, he rids himself of all of the unpleasant aspects of Earth life. But Billy, the vibration of, uh, of the earth human. You say they're advanced technologically. How, how far ahead of us advanced are they? They are about 3,500 years in their experiences about technology uh, far out from our level. And they study us because we represent an earlier stage of their own evolution. Yeah. You know, they had a war, they had trouble together, they was fighting together, and they needed a very, very long time to get 
peace unto himself. They made a very interesting observation at one point. They said that if we could now concentrate Earth's energies and resources, we could achieve all that they can do now in about 300 years mm -hmm. of our time. Yeah. Is there? If you've been in the ship, why not photographs inside of the Pleiadians themselves? It's, it's impossible to make it because there uh, are powers inside, they always break the film. He's taken a number of rolls of film, and when they're developed, they're usually black. If they've got anything, it's wavy lines through. So, you're so I, 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 I uh, lose it, so hundreds of films. Why are they here now, and what do they want? You see, they don't come here to harm us. They don't come to start uh, trouble here, or war, or to overtake the earth in their ruling. They just see us here as their little brothers or something like that. And they want to bring the real teaching of the natural life and of the spiritual belonging, spiritual teaching, spiritual life and all this. But they must want something from us. They just want nothing. Nothing. You see, for the human on earth, it's uh, impossible to believe this, but that's really the truth. They just want nothing from the humans on earth. The session goes on for hours. To every question, Maya has an answer. The investigators are unable to shake him or to find flaws in his story. In Phoenix, Dilettoso comes up with a startling new discovery. We're getting into a really interesting area in these pictures. We don't really have to test every picture anymore to see if it's a real picture or not. We can't find anything that tells us it's a hoax. So let's start looking for things that are interesting from picture to picture. Look at the bower here seems to contour to the shape of the craft. Have you seen this in a lot of the other photographs? In the Meyer case. Look at the bottom here on what's down here. It stops right in the horizon. With the coincidence of it follows this line in the craft and it follows that line in the craft and it follows parallel right underneath the bottom there and we find it in half of the other pictures. I think it means something. You think it's something that we're not seeing in the photograph with our eyes? We get some kind of an aura, whether it's infrared, thermal energy, as yet I don't know. I think that craft is putting out a force field. The team had shown the Maya material to a variety of experts in an attempt to learn if any of it could be duplicated. They estimated it would require expertise in at least a dozen different fields, including metallurgy, astronomy, ancient history and psychology. The panel concluded it would take over 10,000 man-hours and cost in excess of one million dollars to duplicate the evidence Maya has. At that, the computer could still spot any fabrication. When we bought this center here, it was a picture like at the World War second end. And when we bought it, nobody of us had any money. We was working practically day and night for several years, many times 22, 23 hours a day. And so we built it up, uh, everything here up on the land, and so it grows slowly. But it's all real, our handwork. This is a psychological stress evaluation test, better known as PSE. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is ask you some questions. You will answer yes or no. We will tape these questions. Mm -hmm. The tape will go back to the United States. At that time, we'll test it through a computer to measure your micro tremors in your voice. Mm -hmm. It's like a lie detector test. Yeah. yeah. Would you agree okay, to doing this? Okay, um, start it.